Welcome to Outer Wilds. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another VR Chat World Showcase video. Today, I'm going to go with a certain theme, and that theme, if you haven't already figured out from the title, is Outer Wilds. I am now looking around VR Chat for cool worlds themed after one of my all-time favorite games as of now, which is Outer Wilds. So I just, let's let's look around a little bit, shall we? Let's see what VR Chat world creators have to offer. So the first one we're looking at here is called Outer Wilds Title Screen Planet by Swag Guy Forty Seven, and it is available on both PC and Quest. Can we go off the edge? Oh, it's so fucking dark. I don't like this, <laughs> but it's kind of cozy, right? It's just this title screen planet. That's all it is, and that's all it has to be. Just a cool little hangout you can come visit. We got Rybeck over here. We have a Nomai Slate wall. <gasps> oh, when you get closer, it... Hold on, let me do a taller avatar real quick. So if you get closer, it shows the, the Nomai writing. Oh, that's, that's very interesting. That's a very interesting way to handle it. Okay, so we don't have too many to explore here. I was able to find by searching Outer Wilds five worlds and we're going to take a quick look at each of them and kind of just see what they have to offer so we have feldspar's camp the sun station timber heart hearth orbit and the eye campfire i'm going to save that one for last since that's end game all of these as you can see are available on both quest and pc so i don't know let's start with let's let's start close to home and go to the timber hearth orbit all right here we are on our ship orbiting around our home planet of timber hearth very cute. Look at that. So it's just another hangout world. I can't go down through the ship, but I can take a quick look around. You see we have our whole first aid section here. Our suit over there, should we need to go out into space. Here's our scout. Very nice. It seems to just be like a perfect one-to-one -one replica model. Here's our ship log. Hmm, let's see what we got. <laughs> That'd be cool if you could open it up and see your ship's log. I know, that'd be a little bit extra. Our gravity kiss crystal right there, our engine. And then let's look down here and see what we can see. Can I sit? I can sit. Look at this. So we're here on our ship. We got all the knobs and whistles that are in the original one as well. If you look down there, I think that's the glade right there. The ancient glade. Over here, maybe is this was this the North Pole perhaps? I don't fully remember. Oh, this is the entrance to the Nomai Mines right here. Okay. Obviously, the planet itself isn't super detailed because it's far away, so it's really only showing us what it needs to. And I think that's serviceable for what this is. We have the space music playing right now. The Seed of the Bramble deep in the crater of Timber Hearth. I'm just going to stay here until we go over our home crater, which I think is coming up right over here. Yeah, look at it. There's the observatory. I imagine all of the worlds we're going to be visiting are going to have this same kind of feel to it. Just kind of sit and enjoy the environment, you know? That's really all they need to be. Would be kind of cool if you could see some other celestial bodies out. Dark Bramble is very close to our... Uh... Very close to our home here. I don't I don't know how that makes me feel. And it seems to be following us around the orbit of Timber Hearth. I don't quite think that's how this works. <laughs> but uh, I guess that's going to be our next destination, isn't it? Okay, if you wanted to check out this world with your friends, kind of just hang out, relax on the ship with uh, up to four people. This is Outer Wild Timber Hearth Orbit. Also by Swag Guy 47 And I'm sorry to think that Swag Guy made all of these, didn't he? One-to-one -one replica of the ship that we can just kind of hang out. You can chill with some friends, enjoy the music, enjoy the sights of Timber Hearth. And just kind of remember what it was like to first take off in your ship in Outer Wilds and... See space for the first time, see your planet from above, you know? But yeah, I think we're gonna go look for Sveldspar now. He should be over in the Bramble. But, uh, yeah, let's sit down and get going here we go so here we are in feldspar's camp we got the bramble seed up there and just a nice cozy campfire with our buddy feldspar on harmonica you listen closely you can hear the breathing from the suit 
which is interesting because I'm not wearing a space suit, as you can see. <laughs> Got his uh, food rations over here, our little four-eyed fish friends, some soup. This is where he sleeps. A very interesting lifestyle to lead. That's is, like How much does he have to eat? He has that broth, he has a couple of fish there, and then over here... He has canisters of water and a couple more of the sardine cases and marshmallows, of course. So, I mean, like, he... Realistically, our buddy Feldspar here, he should be fine for a little while, right? You gonna be all right? You want me to go find some help? Maybe I can tell Gossen back at the ob observatory, and he can send out some help for you. Does that sound good? It'd be cool if we could roast some marshmallows as well. Like, maybe there is an interactable stick, and we, like, go to the marshmallow here, and we can roast them. Or if also, if there was zero G, we could just, like, float out into the bramble, you know? I know that would probably be a lot more work to get that together, but... Wait, I have a flying avatar, so I can simulate me going into the bramble. Why would I want to do this to myself? I don't know. Maybe I'll find an anglerfish out there. I would hate that. Let's Let's see what we can find. Oh, they actually have, like, the, the vines of the bramble there, too. Oh, fuck. I hate this. Oh, this is so freaky. Why am I doing this? So I wonder if the hollow vine behind Feldspar's camp is also there with his ship. Oh, look at that. That is fucking menacing. Of course, I will die when I hit a certain barrier. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if it was just, like, uh... I kept falling until I hit the actual bottom, and I could only return by respawning. Oh, yeah, look, there's a ship and the hollow vine. Oh, very nice attention to detail. Hold on. I need I need a proper space exploration suit for this one. As much fun as it is being Rimuru Tempest, I think we need a better space exploration outfit. So let me switch over to another avatar that I have that'll fit the bill just fine. Oh, can you see a little anime girl face in here? <laughs> Yeah, for those who know, this is from Soma, but it's a really nice avatar since it's kind of spacey and it also has a lamp where I can kind of light up the area around me as well. Um, there's also, anyway, I'm this is not an avatar showcase video. You want to see more Outer Wild stuff, I get it. Let's fucking go, shall we? So the other cool thing about this avatar is that it has flying. Welcome aboard. <laughs> and it's the ship from Subnautica, but I can also wee, go really quickly. It's going to take a while to get up here, but yeah, I think this is more fitting since we're traveling through space. We can kind of float through space on our own little ship, you know? Okay, we've made it into the hollow vine. Oh, fuck. Um, We're not supposed to have gravity here. Fuck, I am going to have to go back to the Rimuru um, avatar just because it flies upwards a lot faster. So the other one flies forwards a lot faster, this one flies upwards a lot faster. So what happens if we follow this all the way through, huh? That'd be very interesting if this actually led somewhere. Okay, here we go. What's what's down here? Oh, is it a dead end? I think it is unfortunately a dead end. That makes sense from a design standpoint, but I am a little bit... Not upset, per se. Just like, oh, that's unfortunate. It makes sense, but that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. That just fucking jump scared me. <laughs> All right, so that world was Outer Wilds Feldspar's Camp by SwagGuy47. Next up, I think we're going to go over to the Sun Station and see what kind of information we can find about our universe yeah so i saw in the description there it was saying the assets were um ripped and ported so they literally just took the files of outer wilds and just flopped it into vr chat i think that's really cool so here we are on the sun station got our creepy music too very cool what's this over here Oh, they have a mirror. <laughs> There's me. Ah, I'm falling into the sun. Oh, shit. Wait, can I pick this up? <gasps> oh, my God, I can. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Remove stone. What if we... Can we put it over here? Will it do the music and everything? Oh, 
Oh, that's such a nice little detail. I mean, obviously they can't do all the same animations of like the the things coming down and everything. Man, this just makes me want to see. Oh, how would they do that though? I was thinking like a, an Ash Twin Project world, right? But that would be so hard to see, or not? That would be so hard to do. Because you can't do, like, the zero gravity and, like, flipping on the walls and stuff like that. Gravity crystals and such, you know? That's really awesome that they added that, though. So there's our sun. Oh, cool. You can actually see up and around it, too. Let's see. Is there going to be a time limit for how long we can be on this world? <laughs> What's this? Use? <gasps> is this a translator? Hold on, hold on. If that's is, if this is the translator, what happened? Did the sun station not fire? The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. Oh, it, oh, here we go. It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were in infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. And then that's it. Will never and could never explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to... Oop. It's a little it's a little glitchy. But... Return to the Ash Twins first. Okay. I heard for you. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well... Though disappointed. I may have disagreed with the exploding of the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. That's such a nice little detail. I love that. They made the, the pool over there work. They made this thing work. And they have a translator. So what's over here? We have the Nomai statue. What's down this way? Oh, cool. Oh, I can't go out there, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's fine. They already did a fantastic job of just this section here. Like, this is really nice. This is a nice little hangout spot to come with a group of friends and just kind of, like, talk, chat, hang out, look at the sun, think about, like, the fate of the universe, you know, just some very casual conversation about quantum mechanics and astrophysics and whatnot, you know, just some very basic conversation to have with friends. All right, well, this is by far the coolest one yet. This is phenomenal. This makes me very happy. There's a little bit of interactability, which makes you really feel like you're in Outer Wilds. Like, I feel like I'm actually walking around the sun station. And, like, I can actually, like, touch... Well, obviously, I can't feel it, but, like, you know? That's so cool. Well, I think that's it. We only have the Eye of the Universe left. We've seen everything we need to see. All that's left is the Eye. Here we are. Just you and me here. Oh, can I go to the different spots, maybe? I have a flashlight. That's cool. What's this? Campfire mirror. What's the top one, though? Avatar pedestal? Wait, there's an avatar? <gasps> oh, my God. I can be the Outer Wilds character from this. I wish I had known that sooner. I could have done that for the whole video. Oh, this is so great. Hold on. Suit options. Suit, full suit, no jetpack, jetpack, tools, translator. The translator tool, I have the probe launcher. Doesn't work, unfortunately. Signal scope. That would have been cool if it somehow interacted with this world. <gasps> I can do the marshmallow! That's so cool! Oh my god! Alright, we need to see our mirror now. Hold on. Oh, we're so awkward and clunky, though. That's the only problem. I love this. I'm, I'm saving this avatar, though. Alright, now that we're all suited up and ready... Let's go find our friends. Start this way and get Feldspar. That's probably the anglerfish, right? I need the flashlight. Hold on. Oh yeah, and I also want to see what this stuff is over here. So turn off the avatar pedestal and the mirror. Ambient sound effects and breathing sound effects. Okay. Now we need all of it on for it to be... Actually, no, because we shouldn't be using oxygen in here because there's trees everywhere. Okay, so this way should be to Feldspar, right? Because that's the anglerfish. 
Oh! God, that actually fucking scared the shit out of me. I wasn't expecting that to actually happen. So here's his harmonica. Can we interact with it at all? And we can. If I bring it back, will I get Feldspar at the campfire? Oh my god, that <laughs> like actually fucking jump scared me. Oh wait, listen. <gasps> He's here now. Here you go. This is your fucking harmonica. I guess you're just gonna sit there pretending to play it. I don't know exactly where to go for the other ones. There's the Nomai ship. The Nomai ship is for Solanum. The Nomai ruins for Ryback. The telescope and the stars for Chert. No, we'll go to Solanum because that's the most visible thing for me right now. Oh, they have the skeletons here too. Do I just interact with this? Yeah, but can I like go up here too? No, I don't think I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, I, I, I see and hear Solanum already. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna get fucking emotional and just like a Outer Wilds world, aren't I? <laughs> oh, geez, so we're looking for Ancient Glade sign as well for Gabbro. Here we go. Oh wait, no, we gotta we gotta play it like we're supposed to, right? Here, here, here. Uh, signal scope. I don't see. Where did the sign go from there? Maybe I have to interact with it. Hold on. Let's go back. No, I can't interact with it, but it's saying to go this way. So let's let's go this way. Feeling a little turned around right now. Oh, this is this is spooky. I don't know where I am. Oh, this is so hard to see. All right, you know what? I said I was going to stay in this outfit, but like I need a better flashlight for this. This isn't working. There we go. I can actually see now. I know that kind of takes away some of the fun, but my god. I was just stumbling, and I would just like to see, you know, what this offers. So we go up there to see his hammock. Is his hammock up there, I wonder? I see the the instrument here, but... Yeah, I can, I can barely make out his hammock right there-ish through the leaves. So Gabbro's here now. There he is. There you go, buddy. Have a second one. So I guess the next one is going to be either Chert or Ryback. And I know, again, I know it's kind of cheap to just be looking through this huge flashlight, but like... Here, what if I do it like this? That's a little bit more fair. It's still quite bright, but it's not as... Like, it doesn't totally give it away. Alright, we found Chert's over here. Oh, unfortunately, the stars are not over here, though. That would have been really nice if they had added that. However, got big old drums. <laughs> Get out of here. Shit. Get out of here. Oh, no. I don't know where they went, but they're gone. Okay, so we're just missing Ryback now. There's our buddy Chert. So where have I not gone? Maybe this way-ish? Let's see, this way led to Gabbro, right? Did it not? Oh, no, there it is. There's Ryback. And then that's it. And then from here, I will go back to the other avatar. Just to finish this as an Outer Wilds Traveler. I don't have my flashlight. God damn it. Okay, just long enough to grab this banjo here. Get back to the Traveler, since I can see the campfire over there. We did it. We've gathered all the instruments. You know what would be a nice touch? If once you gather them all, this did the thingy, where it was like all... Still very nice, though, to have them all gathered here, you know? <laughs> oh, man. I, f I love Outer Wilds so much. This is making me very happy. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching yet another VR Chat World Showcase video. This one has been really nice. This one didn't have too many worlds, and the worlds it did have were kind of small and easy, but that's how these are going to be sometimes. 
If you wanted to check them out for yourself, I have included timestamps in the description that'll make chapters on this video so you can quickly jump to the ones you want and see the names. But yes, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful music and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of these World Showcase videos. I have some ideas for a few more. You'd be pleasantly surprised about what's to come. <laughs> have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.